Pickers, welcome back to my channel, The Vintage Pickin' Mama. I am here at The Vintage Warehouse, one of my absolute favorite places to pick in Lakeland, Florida. I really love this booth. As you can tell, it's all in white. Um, I think that some of y'all might really love white. I know that I'm more of a color gal, but I just love this booth so much because it shows how you can incorporate different shades of white and get lots of interest while sticking to a monochromatic palette. Um, I especially love it for the holidays. I love it for Christmas time. It's clean, it's fresh, it's bright, and of course it's evocative of snow and it's very wintry. So let's take a look around. Um, I love the use of lanterns in decorating. I love bringing a little bit of the outdoor inside. Um, Y'all, I just, I love a good terrarium. I guess growing up in California, I'm all about bringing the outside in. So I love with the furniture, I love bird cages, anything that gives that outside, inside look, I'm all about. And if you're like me, I've always wanted a porch. Do you guys have a porch? Because I've always wanted one, but I've never had one. So one of my favorite things to do is to take some outdoor furniture and kind of create a porch vignette in your foyer, in your sunroom, even your dining room, y'all. But I love things like this. I love the trippy, shabby, salvage architecture, y'all. I'm super, super into that. You can use this in a variety of ways. Um, this is what I was talking about in one of my other previous videos, is using a dress form and dressing her up for the holidays. I'm a big fan of this. I think it would look even better flocked, but this is just right up my alley. Um, I'm loving this bowl over here. I'm a big fan of just bringing little touches like this, just leaning against the wall. It gives you interest, put some hooks on it. It's a great way to display hats, scarves, necklaces, put your jewelry on it, put it by your front door so that you have a, you know, make yourself like a mini mud brown. Uh, again, I'm such a fan of mercury glass. I really love this. This tree, y'all, is so cute. It's actually like a garland but that's been wrapped around. It's so inventive. Oh, and like, I love this little pie safe here, y'all. This is so cute. And oh, dress form. I am loving this dress form. See, you just put some, some angel wings on there and it's just perfect for the holidays. It just really dresses it up. Let's go ahead and head on the other side. This is something that I have noticed is still a trend is getting the frames and just leaving them without a picture. I'm really a fan of doing a gallery wall with lots of different sizes of frames. If you keep them the same color, I think it's a great like statement decor. And then we have our cute little large bottle bush tree. I really love the lighter color trees. But if y'all are into the woods and the greens, that's another great look for Christmas. Here we have a really cool display. I have had a number of chandeliers over the years and I never have a place that I can actually hang them. Or if you're a renter and you can't really hang it or you don't want to go to the trouble, again, this one's just in here. It's a great display piece. It creates a little vignette all about bringing that outdoor style indoors. And then again, we have a really, really simple tree. You don't have to pile on the ornaments. If you want to, if you want a Victorian Christmas, that's great. But this is simple, it's clean, and it's all in white, y'all. So I'm here again at the Vintage Warehouse, and I'm loving this just white, creamy, wintry round. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe for our holiday giveaway. And I'll see you at the Pickin' Place. Thanks so much for watching our video today, y'all. Does transfer wear make your mouth water? Does something chippy or shabby make your heart beat a little bit faster? If so, it's time you joined the tribe and became a fellow vintage pickin' mama. 
Just click subscribe and hit the bell notification to join us on our next treasure hunt. Feel free to comment to tell us where to head next. Are you a shop owner or have an vintage show? If so, comment below and drop us a line and we might just wander your way, folks. And as always, we'll see you at the Pick and Place.